brief message from your friendly neighborhood editing Jordan. We tend to try to keep things pretty PG-13 around here, but this is an improv podcast. So who knows what we're going to say. Sometimes we throw in some swearing, some sexual content, and some violence. So as a general warning, viewer discretion is advised. Also to be noted, the opinions stated about a certain tabletop role-playing game are just that, our opinions. We love the game and we like talking about it. So any criticisms are really just all in good fun. That being said, wizards, please hire us. All right, with that out of the way, let's get on with the show. Oh, it's been a whirlwind week here in Glasgow, Scotland. I, yeah, that is that right. where that is? Yes. Glasgow is in Scotland. We're American. I don't know where things are. I'm American and I know where things are. I yeah, but you're a history major. It was in, yeah. that, in those islands up there. Right next to like Hawaii or something. British. Um, but it's it's been a time here, you know, with all that, with that funny Willy Wonka thing that happened at this point months ago. Uh, True. I heard he sent a cease and desist afterwards. Dang. Willy Wonka, more like Willy Wanka. I don't think That's it was actually Willy Wonka. Hilarious. I think Timothy Chalamet just got really heated. The way I was looking at it, it looks like if Timothy Chalamet would have got really zoinked. Um, <laughs> Somebody got zoinked. Yeah. Yes. But, you know, we've been entrusted with the cleanup. And I have been waiting for a very long time to unveil this. Boom. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Nat One Podcast, a.k.a. Nope, because nope. You're not going to want to hear what we're about to have to say. I'm Pertusi. I'm Levi. And I'm Jordan. Boom. 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 It's the Willy Wonka Glasgow death pit. Are we determining what the next Wonka bar is going to be? No. No? No, uh, the mad science of, of the Willy Wonka Glasgow experience which uh, most people didn't realize that one setup with the sad Oompa Loompa was actually real silent science. Uh, they figured out how to give sentience to candy bars. It just makes them insanely violent. Okay. So I've orchestrated this small pit. It's a Beyblade arena. And they're going to fight? They're going to fight to the death. Okay. What? What is a Greglitz? You've never had Greglitz? We'll get to no. Greglitz in Greglitz's due time. Greglitz is great. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a thing where you guys gaslight me that Greglets are real and then they're going to win, isn't it's it? It's not gaslighting. They are real. And we don't know I who's going to win. Well, you're probably just, you know, overreacting. But uh, let's go ahead and start off with our first contender big heavyweights in the candy field. It's Hershey versus Reese Cups. It's 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 Reese's. It's possessive. And yet, no one says Reese's. Everyone I, says Reese's. I, I did the entire time we were making this bracket. I, I do say Reese's. My dad calls them Pokemans, and I've never, I've never heard <laughs> otherwise. So, <laughs> Pokemon. No. Nah. Well, what can you say about Hershey? It's the classic. It's Hershey. Yeah. Pure, unfettered, unchanged chocolate. Mm-hmm. Gotta love that sour milk powder. It tastes pretty good. I don't know what you're it talking about. It does taste pretty it's good. It's good, but that's one of the main ingredients in Hershey. They could tell me it's like my own grandmother's ashes, and I'd still keep buying them. I will argue, um, I am less of a fan of the classic Hershey than I am of dark chocolate, because I really like dark chocolate. You and a few other people I know just... Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. So is that an argument for Hershey, though? No, that's my argument for Reese's Cup. That you like a type of Hershey's bar? No. There isn't a dark chocolate Reese's cup, I don't think. I don't well, I'm arguing that is. that Reese's has more flavors going for it, and also in 
the sentience column, I feel like Reese's have a little bit more heft to them. And mm-hmm. so with the breakability of a Hershey's of a Hershey's bar, because I don't think I've ever had a like a Hershey's bar that didn't break in the package in my hands. Mm-hmm. But if you threw a Reese's cup at a Hershey's bar, mm. the Hershey's bar would shatter. Well, yeah, because the Hershey's bar is a long, thin bar, and the Reese's is a cup. It's yeah. thicker. Yeah, and the and the the bar is also made for being like broken apart. It's got like the little yeah. segments that you. That's yeah, but it never program. shatters on the lines. But because it's got all those segments, do you think if a Reese's cup like broke it, it would like mitosis into two? And now the Reese's cup oh, has so to you fight too. More... Yeah, each segment is a Reese's bar, not Reese's Hershey's bar. Maybe. However, Reese's cups always come with at least two cups. True. There's already a fight of two versus one. If it's but I raise you. Two v two. I raise you mm-hmm. the fact that Hershey's will simply win by default because there will be no competition because the horny Reese's commercial guy is going to break in and steal the Reese's cups from the arena. Now knowing that they are sentient. We said you needed help with this. I, you gotta quit. You have to stop emailing him. How it's does it not in two separate episodes. He is an evil individual, and I Leave will on. not stop calling him out for this. He's will Arnett is not going to call you back. I'm so sorry. What's so good about the Reese's Cups? Hmm? What do they have that I don't? They're delicious, but also, have you guys seen the Tumblr gif? For the Hershey bar for the infinite chocolate. No. It was a thing a while ago on the internet. There's like a hack. It You don't actually get infinite chocolate, but because of math and shapes, there's a way to cut a Hershey's bar that makes it look like you, it, there's infinite chocolate. Certified Tumblr moment. Yep. Uh, I'm not. The, it's Tumblr history. To answer your question, Levi, it's the little cup. It's the cup. You don't have the cup. It does. You don't have a paper wrapper. You don't know that. I I do. I do know that. You haven't checked. You've slept here. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, who <laughs> wins? Who wins in the... Uh, <clears throat> my vote is still uh, Reese's. Cups? Yeah, I'll cups. give it to the cups. I'll give it to the cups. If, the, cups. if we're going by the understanding that they're not being abducted... Yes, I would yeah. say the Cups would win. No, because Will Arnett has filed a restraining order. He's not coming here. What if I'm not there? Then he'll abduct the Reese's Cups. Okay, you can't come within 500 feet of him, Levi. Okay, so I will stay 500 feet away from the, the arena, and then win. he intervenes and takes he's the Cups. He's coming anyway. He doesn't care. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> Next up. That sounds like what? We have Snicked versus Milky Street. Okay, so you have a bar versus the entire galaxy. Space wins. You know, uh, I I really I really feel like you know the milk. Mm-hmm. It's just a copy of an already perfect chocolate bar. Yeah. Snickers is just better. Whoa! What is I I'm. I'm... I'm it's okay to be wrong, Milky Jordan. Way. It's okay to be wrong. Snickers uh, is just the superior out of the two. Snickers and Milky Way are both nougat and caramel, but Snickers has peanuts. Ew. Exactly. That makes it better. Uh, I don't like peanuts. I prefer the I prefer the Milky Way. Is there a Milky Way ice cream version? Yeah. Yeah. Eh, well, there's the also Snickers a, one is still better. There's also a Twix one. The Twix one is really good because it's don't got Don't bring bits Twix in it. into this. Don't oh, bring Twix. Twi- they're later. They're later. We don't talk about them yet. Twix has a cookie dough version. They're later. They also have a dark chocolate version. Okay. Hmm. And Milky Way. Okay, Milky Way also has a dark chocolate version. And the dark chocolate version is great. Well, that but just gives it less points for me. If You're the, wrong. If the Snickers has peanuts, it's probably going to do better in the death in the death pit, though. Yeah. Because it's just an extra Milky piece w- of armor. It has more armor? What if the Milky Way is allergic to peanuts? What if that's why it doesn't have peanuts in it? I, I think they're made in the same manufacturer, so I don't think we have to worry about that. I was all for the Milky Way to win because I knew it's a big, hefty bar, and that nougat will keep things mm-hmm. in. I didn't know what Snickers had in it, but if it's the same thing but with peanuts, it would it win is. in the death pit. It is. 
and it's got a big vein on it. Have you seen the vein? Milky Way also has that. No. Uh, 25 points to Snickers to just not talk about the Snickers vein. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, oh, we got a switch up. How about that? I'm distraught. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Three Musk versus Obar. I don't what? know what the Obar is. I don't it's remember the, what it's Obar the is. Zero on. bar. Yeah. Oh. Which honestly, in my opinion, is the most vile candy bar to ever exist. I don't yeah, know what no, that it's is. A, it's a. It's I've gross. had them before. They're super overpowered. They're like every every flavor of candy bar you could have. Like it, it's got like it's just, it's like cranked up to an eleven. Like it's they, super. Zero? They're the ones that nobody buys from the vending machine, and they taste like they're the ones that nobody mm. buys from mm. the vending machine. I just mm. never even. I don't think I've ever seen a zero bar before. They're gross. It's they it's, have silver packaging. Mm-hmm. Nope. It's got nougat and I want to say almonds in it, and it's white chocolate instead of chocolate yeah. chocolate. That's a good thing for its defense, though. What does the Three Musketeers have? Well, see, three I feel like is straight nougat. I feel like the, what the zero bar is doing is it's trying to be too much, right? It's trying to dip into too many fields at the same mm-hmm. time. Whereas the Three Musketeers, he's calm. He's neutral. He knows what he's doing. He's in his lane. He's a master he's of got his the art. One thing, and he sticks to he it. He sticks to it. So it's a classic jack of all trades versus the master of one. Yes. But the jack of all trades is really bad at all the trades. <laughs> but the jack of all trades is tra- <laughs> part of what he's trying to take from is what the master is a master at, and so the master is clearly just going to be better than him in that regard. Mm-hmm. Hmm. If any of if either of you can name for me without looking it up a single of the three musketeers, I'll give it to the three musketeers. And Bolio. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> That's a Shakespeare character. The first thing I thought of were characters from Hamlet, and that's also not from Hamlet, that's from Romeo and Juliet. I almost said Hamlet, Rosencrantz, and Gilded Star. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I thought one of you for sure would have known at least one of them. And Volio, Mercutio, and Romeo. You know, I think I did, but Jordan saying that has just wiped my memory. My brain was not working. And I think the Zero Bar wins. No! I I really don't. I don't think the Zero Bar wins. It's bad. All right. Three Musk moves on. But you might want to do your research for the next round. Also, because I'm doing this in MS Paint, it cut off the bottom of the three, and now it's just question mark musk. <laughs> That's even better, honestly. Okay, now we get to the worst category ever. Uh, yeah. Almond Happy versus Moundy. See, I'm torn because I really like both of these. Mm. I think it's a, like, um, <laughs> a murder-suicide situation. <laughs> Aren't they, like... Aren't they like cousins? Like, aren't they? Yes. Isn't Almond Joy just mounds but with almonds on it? Um. So Almond Joy is milk chocolate with an almond on it, and then Mounds Bars are dark chocolate with only coconut. Ah, uh, okay. I want Almond Joy to win. I want Mounds to win because I like dark chocolate. I hate dark chocolate. I I, I also although, hate dark chocolate. <laughs> I will. Okay, I'm willing to flip because Almond Joy are really good if you stick them in the freezer. And, and so if you've been stuck in the freezer. Well, if you stick it in the freezer and then throw it at somebody, that's going to do damage. So I feel like it could, that plus the almond could probably put a dent in the mounds bar. But they're fighting each other. They're sentient candy bars. Putting it in the freezer might just kill it. Well, no, when you do that with bugs, they just go to sleep. <laughs> Are they the same as bugs? I don't know. We haven't, we haven't talked about the because ramifications Because when you do that with people, Jordan, bar. I hate to break this to you, but when you do that <laughs> with people, just sleep. they no. die. Cryo sleep is a thing. Uh, uh, it is not. Almond Joy is moving on. <laughs> Very many years of sci-fi movies prove me right. Science says that your cells explode. <laughs> Science isn't real. Jokes on them. I don't have any sales. Um, okay. We move on to the two the two candy bars that know best how to split up. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, this, this is a hard one. Twix and Kit Kat. This is easy for me. It's easy for you? Yeah. Okay, the but the question to answer is what is the correct way to eat a Twix and also a Kit Kat? Twix from the middle. Kit Kat vertically. Um, incorrect. The way that you eat a Twix is you bite the caramel off the top and then you eat the cookie. How did you say I'm voting Kit Kat just for that. My vote's on Kit Kat. I do not want Twix to win if that's the right way to eat a Twix. <laughs> it's so not. I... Why? Uh, please tell me that's not how you actually eat them. Jordan. I would be lying. Not all of them, but usually because they come in pairs, so one of them I will tear apart and mutilate, and then the other one I will eat like a normal person. You make it watch? <laughs> you as you destroy its sibling? Just buy, like, chocolate, caramel, and cookies at that point. Don't do that to a Twix bar. No, but the shortbread cookies and Twix are really good. <laughs> so Kit Kat? I, like I also Twix. like Kit Kats. Well, and also, I'm gonna admit, I will, I will break apart the Kit Kat like you're supposed to do, and then I will eat it wafer by wafer. That's what oh. I do with Kit Kat. I eat like, it no, correctly. I mean, no, I mean like break apart the wafers of the individual Kit Kat section and eat it like. What that. is wrong with you? Even they're so kind of small. Things. They're well, it's, already it's the in a bite-sized package when you break it into four pieces. Okay, it's supposed it, to be a challenge. It's it, candy. It's, <laughs> It works better with like the the Halloween size Kit Kats because you break them and then you bite the end, the chocolate ends off, and then you separate it by the wafers. Okay, 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 okay. Twix, I think, is hardier in a fight versus Kit Kat. It's made yes, of the wafer. It's got the caramel. Yeah, the wafer is going to just fold, but the Twix mm-hmm. caramel and, and the shortbread cookie, they're resilient and tough. Okay, okay. But have you tried but, either of but, them frozen? But, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me raise no. you. Let me raise you. The, the titular, the well-known and time-honored Twix feud of left Twix and right Twix. They're not going to be working together. They, could, they wouldn't work together. They're going to they fight each other, each other at the same time as Kit Kat. Mm, hmm. That's a good they, point. I think even still, they'll take the Kit Kat. I just don't think they might be in trouble in the next round. Okay. The the Kit Kat is collateral damage in the war between right and left. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Okay. The only thing that could have given you a shot there, in my opinion, was if you brought up that Kit Kat has the funny flavors across other countries. It does. I do like Japanese Kit Kats. But we didn't write Japanese Kit Kats. We wrote Kit Kats. Yes. Canadian Kit Kats are also very good. Okay. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Um... Next up, we have kind eggs versus creme eggs in parentheses cad for Cadbury. See, this is hard because I prefer the like the Cadbury eggs that don't have the cream in them. I like the little Easter ones that are like that come in the candy shell. Does do either of these have hollow chocolate eggs? Mm, Well, I mean, technically, there's a hollow bit of space in the cream egg. But if you're talking about, it depends on which Kinder Egg you're talking about, because if you're talking about the ones that are illegal in the U.S., yes. If you're talking about the ones that are sold in the U.S., no, because it's got the toy in one side, and then the other side has, like, Nutella and white chocolate and then little wafer balls. Yes. I I don't, I've, the only, I've never had a Kinder Egg, actually. They're pretty good. Um, I've had Cadbury eggs, and I don't like them because the cream is overpowering. I'm just like, bleh. It's like that's why I like the solid chocolate ones. I like the, the solid chocolate mini eggs that don't have filling. Those are fine too, but I love a hollow chocolate anything. If it's like a chocolate shape and it's hollow in the middle, I love it. Those are good. It's got like a strange shape that I can eat with my mouth. Gotta get have that air tongue. in it. Get my toofuses all in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> you shut your toofuses <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, I see you to the statement I made about Taryn in the last recording. Uh, in his <laughs> maple sucking hole. <laughs> oh. But if Kinder Eggs make a uh, hollow variety, even if it's not in the U.S., I'm voting for that. 
Like, they do, and they have a toy inside, so they have a weapon. Yeah. I don't and they're a choking a hazard. That's how I view it. But of course, this is also a battle to the death. Hmm, what is better, having a weapon or having the extra bulk and defense of, of a cream filling? Because a, cre- a cream egg is a, is a heavy... Same argument I made for the Reese's Cup with the heft. It's yeah. got some weight to it. But if it's got the weapon, like it could just use that to keep distance and just poke out the Cadbury egg. Well, because like the a spear. Out. And also the the American version of the Cadbury egg has two weapons because it also has a toy, but it also has a little spatula spoon thing so that you can eat the Nutella. The, the American Kinder Egg has a spatula too. Yeah, that's what I, I was saying. Did I say the American one or the British you said, one? I was you talking said about Cadbury. The Cadbury. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the American Kinder Egg. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got American, two whole weapons. It, it has a two weapon thing. Dual weapon fighting. Great weapon Dual wielding. <laughs> Remember that I, t- I I said that in the group chat earlier. What? All the videos I've seen on TikTok that say G R W. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I great thought, weapon fighting. Uh, well, great weapon master. Great weapon master. I thought that always meant great weapon master. It does no, not. It does not. Get ready with great. me. Yeah, I found that out today. Oh, I I kept under I couldn't understand why people would like put that and then not talk about D and D after. Okay. Well, I also got confused by the do not disturb mode on phones because people kept saying that they were putting their phones on D and D, and I got really excited because I I thought the phones had D and D mode. Are you silly? No. <laughs> Get ready with me. My alternate <laughs> timeline where every phone has a D&D mode. I don't even know what that would do. I don't know. Like, I, di- I didn't think it was an actual thing, but I was very confused. Like spy I was like, what? What it is teleports that? you into d and I oh. wish. Promise? Oh, no, I would be so dead. Put on I these would not want to be Arlo. Oh, you mean like in-game? I thought it meant just like teleport you to your session. <laughs> no, no, you go to D&D land. I don't want to be Arlo. That sounds terrifying. That's how this podcast technically unofficially started. Yeah, it true. Did not pan out very well. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good short <sighs> film. I need to remake that. Yeah. Okay, I'm feeling kind eggs with their weapons. Okay. I'm, I'll vibe with kind there. eggs. Okay. <laughs> Would someone think of the kinder? Mm-mm. Okay, M and M's or M two two M's M twos, and Hershey Kisses plus Reese's Pieces. Oh, you did a little compound thing. Yeah, we're doing yeah, both at the same. That makes time. sense because there's no chocolate in Reese's Pieces. Yeah, I thought it was too. It was too one sided to make it M and M's versus one or the other of those two. However, both of them may even out the playing field. I'll leave it up to y'all. So does this mean, are we talking just classic chocolate M&M's, or is this including, like, peanut M&M's, peanut butter M&M's, caramel M&M's, mini M&M's? I'll leave it up to you, but if that's the case, we have to include all the different Kiss varieties as well. I'm well there fine is with a that. variety of M2, which is not an M&M, but a gun. Mm, yeah. I don't think that's part of this fight. The M2 browning. Think about the things you'd find when your kid like shows you their Halloween candy yeah. and suddenly boom, M2. <laughs> M2 browning. That's like the community bit. Jeff, what does a pregnancy test look like? So this is not a pregnancy test. This is a gun. Mm. What do the pieces got? Me when I try to eat a M&M and I'm like, mom, what's wrong with my M&M? And it's, it's just an M2 browning. See, I, I would I be feel so like... excited. I... <laughs> I feel like Reese's Pieces are the worst part about Reese's Cups because I like, well, okay, I like the Reese's Peanut Butter, but it's not the same texture as the Reese's Peanut Butter, and it just kind of tastes like sand. Yeah, no, it's like a gross, because it's like condensed. It's like hyper-condensed Reese's Peanut Butter. Yeah, it makes it much more digestible. You don't have to deal with all that crud. No. No. The Reese's peanut butter cup is perfection because it's all about the ratio between the chocolate and the peanut butter yeah. and the peanut butter texture is there. I don't it's like, like Reese's sand pieces. Bag. Yeah. You're crazy. Now, if you mix Reese's pieces into a bag of M&Ms, that is a delightful handful of candy. What about a bag of Reese's pieces with Hershey Kisses as well? That's, that I feel like would be complicated because like are they wrapped the- or unwrapped? 
Uh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm going to eat it like trail oil. mix. Oh, don't just don't be stupid. Don't just do what he did and just grab a handful and eat. Be like, that's, oh, this one's wrapped. That's the other argument in favor of M and M's is M and M's are the best part of trail mix, other than dried cranberries. But that's a different argument. M and M's are in trail mix. Some trail yeah. mix has M and M's in it. So, with the alliance between the kisses and the pieces, who's winning in the fight? It's I a lot like, of units on the field. I feel like the kisses and the pieces are going to Voltron into like some kind of weird mech. They do have metal on their side. They swore off the the big Voltron monsters ever since the Bark Dog root beer incident. Did we? Did we swear? <laughs> did we? <laughs> I personally did. <laughs> it's a hallmark of our thing. They something always has to end up becoming friends. Because didn't we get who did we pair with the Starbucks mermaid lady? Was it Jack in the Box? I think it was Jack in the Box. I, I think the Reese's Pieces would find similarities between them and the M and M's. Is it? Is it just going to be a giant horde battle? They're going to be a giant horde together. <laughs> yes. They're like they're like goblins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't pick it. They did. <laughs> I feel like that's the one true way for them to succeed is if it's all of the chocolate bit candy. There Bits together strong. All right. Last one. We have Miami Heath bars versus Greglets. Greglets are not a real candy. What no, are you talking longer. about? I like Heath bars. I'm going to vote for Heath bars because also Heath bars will break your teeth and I think they could break Greglets. They taste bad. Have Greg, you ever eaten so Greglets? They're the little, the orbs that got like the chocolate coating around them and then chocolate inside them. Yes. What? Yes. Well, if you put those things in a fridge, they can break your teeth. I'm still voting for Heath Bars. Heath Bars are good. There's like four of them or five of them in a pack. Maybe even six if I'm, yeah. remember, if I'm remembering correctly. But well, Heath I think Bars are so they, crunchy. They've changed it over time. They've changed how many come in a pack. Okay, I wasn't crazy. Okay. Which is regrettable because it okay. used to be, like, I think a while ago it used to be six, but now it's, like, I think four. They're hard to get nowadays. Yeah, they're rare. For a second, I thought you were gaslighting me and talking about sixlets, but I'm still team Heath Bar. No, this sixlets is Sixlets are Greglets. also good. Mm-mm. I'm on team Greglets. I'm on team Greglets. Heath Bar Heath is Bar. Taste bad. I Heath, like Heath the bars. Greglets are like 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 it's like having like a bowling ball. That's like what a Greglet is to a Heath bar, which is just like a wall, right? Mm-hmm. If yeah, you throw a, a bowling, ball, bowling ball, if you no, if you throw a bowling ball at a wall hard enough, if it has enough propulsion, it will just go through. True, but the wall will still be standing. Eventually, not your you'll shatter your stupid bowling ball. And we like we said, you have more than one Greglet. There are multiple, depending on which era of Greglet you, you are coming one. from. Yeah. But it's uh, at least a minimum of four. Show me the packaging right now. We the packaging is on the, it's on the, what do you fucking call this? Sorry, I cursed. It's the, oh, you don't have to apologize. We're on the podcast. Oh, okay. I started bleeping it anyway. <laughs> you know, this is the, 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 the bracket. The packaging's on the bracket right there. Jordan. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's what the packaging looks like. It looks Greglets. like shitty hey, written. I tried really hard. <laughs> but anyway, I think the reason the Heath Bar would lose is not because of the impetus of the Greglets, but because the Heath Bar is coming to this fight like the nerd emoji. You know what I mean? The Heath Bar is showing up and being like, um, I should win this fight because while getting pummeled by by six, four to six Greglets. Four to six Greglets. Four to six. It's just the meme of they jumping me, they jumping me. Thirty to forty feral hogs wins almost every day. <laughs> I give up. You guys are gonna make Greglets win this entire no, stupid thing. Thirty to forty feral hogs kills me. I see. I will let Heath Bar lose to thirty to forty feral hogs. That I'm fine with. That's Greg, pretty much what Greglitz is. Yeah. Can we just change it to 30 to 40 feral hogs? No, no it's, it's not a Greglitz. candy. I would be willing to change it to 30 to 40 Greglitz. <laughs> no, only That's feral hogs. That's not how many comes in a pack. Okay. Back to so the So back up. Yes. We go Reese's Cups versus Snicked. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. They had nuts in their peanuts, right? They had yep. peanuts. I mean, they I feel like Reese's butter. Cups still wins. Okay, why? You can't just say that without explaining why. Uh, because two against one, and also I'm thinking about it. If you put a Reese's two Reese's cup next to a sticker bar, it looked like a dick. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you can definitely are tell. Quite large. Yeah, you can tell that this is the third episode we've recorded today. We. <laughs> I was gonna say it could probably take two Reese's cups at the same time. Snickers are quite large and thick. In but fight, could it? Right? All... And could it also I, I take point to Will the vein. Arnett. I point to the vein. <laughs> I feel like if oh you're now gonna... he's allowed to intervene. <laughs> no, now Will not... Arnett's allowed to intervene. Although I don't think Why he's are you the straight man I think, in this episode. I think <laughs> he's been. I think he's been called in, he's but he's not. not tr- he's not trying to steal the Reese's cups. He's there to support his product. No, no, listen, the Reese's cups are a little. They're a little, uh, not durable. You know, they're able to eat the Hershey bar because it's pretty. It's really weak. But these Reese's cups, they bruise easy. You know what I mean? You hit him on that center spot, they're dead. True. Well, I do have to give you the amount of times that I've tried to like pull one out of the paper packaging and, just... and the bottom gets stuck. Yes. Structural. Okay. Weakness. Okay. I think the I think chocolate the Snickers, is softer. Okay. Yeah. But the Snicker bar, it's pretty darn sturdy. Those things, the only thing to get them is when they melt, really. And that's your own your yeah. negligence if you, you know, put them in your pocket or something or your car. Yeah. And we're assuming these guys are fresh off the line in a in a normal room temperature environment. Yeah, or cooler on the Beyblade depends on how. Depending. Freezer, freezer fight. No, it's all candy bars fight. are better no. frozen. That's a special arena. We're not yeah, doing that we'll one do yet. That next week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, so I, my vote, my vote is Snicker because I I'll think go. that they they have more more strength in this fight. Yeah, I've been I'll convinced. Go with Snickers. I'll go okay. with Snickers. Moving on, snicked. You guys get that because it's a reference. I get yeah, because I'm because I'm referencing. Anybody yeah, watch yeah, Quiet yeah. on Set? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, um, we have question mark Musk versus Almond Happy. Mm. Mm. What was that one again? It just it's just nougat. Yeah, yeah. it's ju- it's just straight nougat. Ah, uh, nougat mm. in a. Thin chocolate cover. Mm. Soft. I'd rather the musk win. I don't know. I, I feel like there it's oh go ahead. I was gonna say I feel like there is an argument for musketeers winning. I think it's like that one episode of SpongeBob mm, where you. Flats keeps punching SpongeBob, but it's doing nothing because he's so soft and spongy. Mm. That's what I think. The Three Musketeers is going to be like in response to the Almond Joy. I think his blows will simply just sponge away in the nougat. So how will the Musk fight back? Will it will it win though? Smother him. What? With the nougat. Well, I also feel like once the Almond Joy loses its almond, that its entire identity is gone because it's exactly. not a Mounds Bar because it's not dark chocolate, but it's exactly. not an Almond Joy anymore because there's no almond. Exactly. Now it's Which just. Is- it's just joy. Which is why I always bite the almond off first before consuming the rest what of the What is candy wrong bar. with you? What? You are like a murderer. You're like. <laughs> I am not. You're like a like psychopathic record, murderer. <laughs> you maim your victim before finishing them off. It's a candy bar. No, he's kind of truing, but I won't put up a fight for Musketeers winning just because I don't like almond joy. So. Yeah, yeah. Put him in there. So, okay, number one there. I have to explain it this way. I don't like any of my food touching on my plate. So, like, I think that's where it comes from. I have to separate the different kinds of food because I don't like my food touching. Do you eat pizza by removing each ingredient off a pizza? I have. Do you still? I no don't matter ru- what you, I don't routinely, but I have. No matter what you answer here, Jordan, it devalues your argument. I'm aware. Okay, that's all right. My mom does some of that, so whatever. But the ca- the candy one, no. But <laughs> three musketeers wins. Yes. Moving on. For a minute, I did not read that as Twix. Uh, Twix versus the kind eggs. Mm-hmm. 
are the Twix still fighting each other? <laughs> now, they're always fighting each always other. Always fighting. Okay. And in this case, you know, I think you were right about the Kit Kat. The Kit Kat had some structural weaknesses, you know. But the Kinder Egg, I think, it's got weapons. Mm-hmm. And it's got a shell. It's got a shield. It's got a shell. It doesn't, I don't think it necessarily has to engage the Twix. I think what it does is it uses its weapons like a like a spear and it keeps them at bay, right? And that makes them go at each other first. That mm. makes them fight each other because they're the least dangerous opponent first. And then whichever one comes out on top is weak. He's Ooh. tired. Eventually. He's already been through one round. Yeah, that shortbread cookie is eventually, it's going to crack and crumble. Yeah. And that's when the Kinder Egg steps in. And delivers a fatal blow easily, swiftly. Mm. Shoot, you don't gotta convince me. I <laughs> moved that sucker on while you were yapping. Huh. Yap alert. See you, Twix. Professor of Yapology. I was gonna say, I heard someone recently say a degree <laughs> in Yapology. Yeah. Okay. Moving on, we now have the amalgamation of Eminem's Hershey Kisses and Reese's Pieces versus Greglets. Mm. Opening discussion. I think it's the amalgamation because it's you got the horde, and if it's four to six Greglets versus the horde of Eminem's Reese's Cups and Hershey Kisses, the wave is coming and it's gonna it's gonna smack them down. Levi. I think it's like wasps versus bees. Have you ever seen videos of of wasps versus bees? Wasps are terrifying. You know what the bees do? What? Because they're smaller than the wasps, and the wasps are obviously stronger than them. Mm -hmm. They literally swarm over the wasp and get it in like a cocoon of bees. And then they, in unison, vibrate and cook the wasp alive oh, with their I've body seen heat. That. What the yeah, heck? I think that's what's happening with the Reese's pieces and the, the M&Ms think, are doing that to Greglets. Although, you know, I stand Greglets. I think that in this situation, the, the all of the little pieces, they just have such a numerical advantage and they're coordinated like a hive mind because of their their piece piecelet nature. That the Greglets, which themselves are pieces, but they're large pieces, they'll just be overwhelmed by the tide. So you're saying the Horde wins? Yes, I think the Voltron wins. I think the Hordes win. I disagree. You disagree? For what Why? is the Horde if it does not accept new members? The Are Greglet. Greglets small enough to be qualified as pieces? Well, I did use the analogy of goblins earlier. What if Greglets are to trolls as pieces and M&Ms are to goblins? They're just another, like, member of the unit. Mm-hmm. No, They're the I hard the hitters. To kill them. They're the big hard hitters. Mm-hmm. They're the wasps that are now welcomed into the hive. That's not how wasps work. It could be. But that's how... We don't know where evolution's gonna take wasps in the next couple thousand years. Crabs. All evolution ends in crabs. Not true. Not... Not... What if it ends in Voltron? All things end in crab Voltron. Precisely. So I'm hearing two votes for they all combine? I'm voting for they all combine. Damn it! I don't want Greglets to be on the board. Gregtron. Gregtron. I still vote for thirty to forty feral fox. That's what. Greg That's what it's did. becoming now. That's <laughs> only if we call it thirty to forty feral hogs. It's not. It's thirty to forty feral Greglets. No, because there's also other things. There's still only four to seven Greglets. Okay, back to the top. <laughs> We're in our semifinals, I think. Right? Something like that. Yes, semifinals. Yeah. Penultimate. Uh, y- yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Snicked versus question mark Musk. Mm. 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 
It's the Snickers, right? I think it's, it's got to be the Snickers. There's no it's got way. More stuff. The, it's the, just, the Snickers like is just too Milky powerful. Milky. Yeah. yeah. The same fight. It's also got it. I forgot to mention the army of like starving people that follow Snickers. Mm -hmm. What? Because you're not you when you're hungry. Yeah. I feel like you're setting precedent for something later that's yet to come. You know, I've never actually seen like a Three Musketeers ad now that I think about it. I've seen several Snickers ads in my life. Because the Three Musketeers stands for itself. It, it doesn't does need any advertisement. For itself. Stand it proud, its Three Musketeers. Legs. Yep. You <laughs> were strong. <laughs> it's just like Jujutsu Kaisen because not only is, is Snickers saying that to Three Musketeers, but also, just like in Jujutsu Kaisen, it, it does not actually mean it at all. Yeah, no. I stand behind the Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers may be strong. He may be powerful, but he's just not as strong as Snickers. No. Not at all. And it's army of starving people. It doesn't even need the army of starving people, I think. I think it's just Snickers. Do I even need to go over our next bout? What is the next bout? Is, oh, Kinder Eggs oh. versus the Super Horde. <laughs> oh no. Can we add the Kinder Eggs to the Super Horde? I, that's I... really the only question. That's... <laughs> that they were willing to add Greglets, which are large chocolate spheres. And, and if we're talking if we're talking about the American Kinder Egg, then it has the little wafer balls in it. And I yeah. feel like the little wafer balls fit into the horde. Yeah. I ain't arguing. All right. Oh, <laughs> why do we always do this? The mighty versus the many. It's been a little bit since we did this one, I think. In this this maneuver, maybe. Uh, well, that's what I recall was the bark dog incident. The Willy I Wonka we Glasgow did, Death Pit. We did something stupid for cereal, and I don't remember what it was. The Willy maybe Wonka Glasgow Death Pit final round results in. Snickers, battle trained, severely fought against several foes, came out on top every time. Has Expert many defense. ingredients at its disposal. Mm -hmm. Army of hungry people. Maybe. Versus. The hive. Horde. Yeah, the hive. I like that. Kinder eggs, M and M's, a Hershey kisses, Reese's pieces, and Greglets. An army bred for a single purpose: mm -hmm. to destroy the world of Snickers. But has Snickers absorbed the power of Will Arnett from Reese's? No. Okay. No. Snickers has killed Will Arnett. No. Oh, Levi, I'm so sorry. Ugh. That means your restraining order is up. Uh, Good. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it's got to be the hive, right? I feel like it mm. has to be. Does that's it have to so be? So many. Is there like a mini version but of what? Snickers? Like that's not. There just are the... actually Snickers minis. Well, those well, are just like they're bite sized. The they're bite, bite size. I'm talking they're about like, size. is there a? Is I don't think there's like, like a, a round. Yeah, like a Snickers, Snickers lit. Bit. I know that. I don't like that. I know that there's like Snickers popcorn. Snickers variants. Um, I think it's over. List of Snickers, Snickers products, variants, and flavors. Um, nope. They do have bites. Nope. Crispers. Mm -mm. Sounds British. Ice cream. Extreme. All <laughs> nuts and caramel. We didn't even bring it up, but... Guys, you you might even be forgetting about the green M and M lady, like. What about her? It was over, a long time ago. I don't know. I feel like Snickers might be so powerful that it can it but, can take on the horde by itself. But the green M and M is really hot. I. You can't say she's not. And she makes up for the bumbling idiocy of the rest of the other M and M's, the, the, except the br the brown M and M is also kind of hot. The blue M and M is smart. 
Okay. I'm I'm deferring back to what we originally said about Snickers was 25 points to M&Ms if we can stop talking about how hot they are. Mm. Okay. I'm <laughs> in. Okay, I think I I just have a vendetta against the yellow M&M. We're yeah. done talking about the M&Ms. Okay. Well, I wasn't talking about how hot they are. I was talking about how I don't like the yellow m and well, Talking All about right. them in general can lead into that. So, so stop. With deference from, from Levi, the Snickers loses and the no, Hive wins. wins. And that means that oh. Greglitz wins. No! Greglitz yes. did in fact win. Greglitz wins. I was blinded by my love for the green m M&M. I do really like Greglitz though. They're really mm-hmm. good. I want M&M's. They melt on your mouth, like, uh... <laughs> not, not in your mouth, on your mouth. Yeah. Like, they um, start melting the second you press them to your lips. It's so on your like, mouth. How are you eating candy? <laughs> you know what it's like to drink the mercury out of a thermometer? Like how Pertusin interacts with trees. That's how I'm, that's how I'm eating candy. True. And I'm the weird one. Yes. yes. The green M&M is still hot, it's fine. Hey! We hope you enjoyed the episode you just listened to. If you really like our content, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on YouTube, and look for us on Spotify. If you'd like to see us continuing to do more fun projects in the future, consider supporting us on Patreon. You can find our page linked in the description above all of our other social media links. And finally, if you'd like to keep up with the zany shenanigans of our lives and check out some more skit-based content and things like that, check us out on Twitter and TikTok. Links in the description. And hey, 